Hey folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business, and today we're going to talk about some more QuickBooks point of sale settings and preferences. Specifically right now, we are talking about pricing preferences. Before we do that, don't forget to click the link down below and jump on over to our Facebook Insiders Group, QuickBooks point of sale knowledge. Join up there and you can ask any question you want about errors or training or ways to do things in point of sale or things you're just wondering about people such as me and other point of sale users will answer your questions and before we jump on the file menu here i'm going to have you hit the subscribe button down below on youtube so that you can see all the wonderful new videos that are coming out on this channel <laughs> oh yeah all right file we're gonna go into the preferences area and company <clears throat> on the left hand column here we're going to click on pricing there is not very many settings here and so this is going to be rather quick uh, i'm just going to go through them real quick all right for default price uh well before i can tell you what what this actually means i'm gonna i'm gonna do the middle here in quickbooks point of sale you can have five different uh price levels is what we call it so this is a way that you can have a single item and depending on who you're selling that item to, uh, it would have different markups or markdowns, uh, different price level. Uh, that name pretty much explains it. So, uh, for price level, like I've got some examples here. Um, it, it doesn't say regular price level here because regular price level is just the number that you fill in to the price field when you're creating an item. But otherwise, uh, right now I have the first price level is sale and that's 10% off I guess second price level is employee apparently empl employees here get 20% uh, off and you can assign different people to different price levels by the way that's how it works when you're setting up a customer name uh, here I, I was doing an example when I was talking to somebody on the phone they had out-of-town florists would come I, I don't know why uh, they were a garden center and they wanted to give out of town florists 20% off so you just create those customers and then give them the the price level for out of town florists with the, which is 20% off and then landscapers in that case got 10% off you can use this in all sorts of applications we will do a full video on it just totally setting it up and showing you how to make it work with a customer so right here price levels you can set them and then later on also in the price manager you can reset or up up or down the prices for these different price levels it's very useful um, but back up to the top here uh, so when you create when you create an item with a regular price of five dollars and then uh, the sale price automatically gets set, the employee price automatically gets set, all these price levels are automatically calculated. But when you're creating a receipt, most often I would see that people would probably want regular price. Um, it's, I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe the sale price is for a special sale weekend. How about that? And so, you would come into this setting and you would change it to this just for those two days and then you would set it back. I guess you could do that. I, I'm always trying to think of these situations where this would, where different settings would come into play. Sometimes it's kind of hard to think of them because it's like, why would you use this setting? But there's always some sort of application or reason why they built this in. Usually somebody requested it for some odd reason and so here it is. Now, the last setting area on this page is the price tag code area and i just did a video on this so you can check that out and totally understand what this is all about <clears throat> this is the area where you set the code up uh, so this is for labels and if you want to immediately look at a label and you can tell uh, when you last received it and what the cost was of the product 
it's a special code where these letters are or the numbers for the cost and the numbers for the date are transposed into these letters so that customers have no clue what it means because they, they're like, oh, it's just a bunch of gibberish. But you know because you know what the code is. So here you can set up the letters or whatever you want. Or maybe, you know, who knows? You won't, Maybe you want a crazy looking code like that. So you just set up the transposing for the code here. And that's it. That's all of the pricing preferences in company preferences for QuickBooks point of sale. Thanks for coming. If you have any comments or questions about this, go ahead and comment or question below. And I will do my best to answer everything that you want to know. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business. You have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.